Welcome future Silver Knights. Thank you parents for joining us for this brief overview as to what to expect if you apply to Jose Marti Mass 6 through 12 Academy. My name is Miss B and I am here alongside our principal, Mr. Enriquez. We are the administrators here and we have a very open door policy. So if you should have any questions following this presentation, please feel free to email us and our email is on the website, which I will show you a little bit later on in this presentation. So why choose our school? We've got a number of years running with an A average. We are a designated gold school by Miami-Dade County Public School. Our pass rates and our academic achievements are well beyond the district and the state averages. And on top of that, our national acknowledgements are one of the highest in Dade County with multiple Magnet Schools of America acknowledgements and our most prestigious recently was being deemed a national certified demonstration school, which is the highest honor bestowed upon a, ma a magnet school from the Magnet Schools of America. Additionally, we have been placed as one of US News and World Report best high schools of 2019. Why choose us? We have a small school setting. Our students are here from sixth grade to 12th grade, and we have approximately 960 to 980 students, making it very easy for us to get to know you and your child. Every single student in this school must apply, which means that they have a genuine interest in math and science, and most importantly, in their education. All of our students take advanced classes beginning from middle school all the way through high school, Students in middle school take either advanced or gifted classes, and students in high school will take at least one advanced placement course during their time here. We also have the possibility of students taking dual enrollment courses, which is college level courses that they take at Miami-Dade at the same time as collecting high school courses, high school course credits. One of the unique things about our school is our science lab classes, a completely separate course. This allows students to do more hands-on experiments, even though it's a little bit different this year, but it does, we do have experiments going on that help accentuate what's going on in the content classes. They have research classes that they have between sixth, eighth, and ninth grade, which only further enhance our capstone program, which is a unique program that we provide from the college board that again helps them with research possibilities and it is a very good selling point when it comes to college interviews. We have field trips, presenters and partnerships and we use those to the best of our ability. A number of our students, even though we're not really going on field trips this year, have been getting visits from presenters as well as utilizing our partnerships with Fairchild Gardens to do our Growing Beyond Earth projects in the classroom. Our graduates last year, we had 100% graduation rate. Again, it's about eight years running, our graduation rate. And our graduates last year racked in over $12 million in merit scholarships. This is scholarships that were given to them because they've earned it. That's not including the kids that might be needed it, but that is a lot of money. And these are the schools that have been uh, attended by a number of our graduates. Our school, even though it is a middle school and a high school, we do follow the high school hours. So classes start at 7.20 at and end at 2.20. We do run an odd and even. Every Monday and Wednesday is even, and every Tuesday and Thursday is odd with our Friday schedules rotating. This allows for students to give themselves a way to pace their homework. And additionally, let's say I have a math class on Monday and I don't really understand what's going on I have Tuesday to try and meet with the teacher, get some clarification to then correct my homework and submit it in the best possible way on Wednesday. Middle school courses are as follows. All middle schoolers will take language arts. It is available in both advanced and gifted levels. For social studies, they take US history followed by civics and world history. It is in the math and sciences where our school is unique. All sixth graders take sixth grade math, and in science, they take sixth and seventh grade science in one year. 
following that sixth and seventh grade science in eighth grade, in seventh grade, I'm sorry, they will take eighth grade science, which is then followed in eighth grade by 10th grade biology. And this course, we've seen a lot of success with the kids' pass rates based on the content of the course. In seventh grade, students also can take pre-algebra or honors algebra. We don't really force the kids to take honors algebra. We do have a placement test that they take as well as some other prongs in order for them to qualify for that course. And then in eighth grade, they can take honors algebra or honors geometry. And again, every class has a separate lab class where they can do their hands-on experiments or get enhanced experiences for their content courses. Some of the electives are available in middle school, range from art to computers to Spanish. And in, we usually start them in seventh and eighth grade because they will start taking the Spanish classes at the high school level to begin getting those high school credits out of the way. High school courses get a lot more complicated because at this point, the students have expressed what their interests are, demonstrated where their strengths are, and this is where we tailor our curriculum to each individual student. Again, in high school, just like in middle school, we only offer honors and advanced courses. Students in high school take either honors courses or advanced placement. The advanced placement courses, enabled here as AP, also can count for college credit depending on the exam that they take at the end of the year. Again, please take a look at this as it is very different for every child and there are a number of options available to them as you will see in the next slide. Here we have a listing of all the advanced placement courses that we offer. We offer over 20 advanced placement courses. These courses are recognized nationally as being rigorous courses. They also provide additional points for the student's grade point average, their GPA. But as well, they are required to be more rigorous and for the most part require recommendations from teachers. Here is a listing of other high school electives that are not AP. They range from technology to the arts to social sciences and of course in the science area as well. Here's our website, as I mentioned earlier, where you can find a number of a lot of information about our school. It is mass3.com. You will find information about myself and Mr. Enriquez under the About Us tab, and that is where you can email us directly should you have any questions following this presentation or need more clarity. One of the great things about our website as a parent is that it is a one-stop shop to communicate with all of our teachers. All of our teachers right now are using either Teams or Edmodo, but sometimes as a parent, it's hard to get access to those um, platforms. So we have on our website a one-stop shop with all of the employees' emails where you can go ahead and email them directly. And in, in that website, it also says that they have a Twitter handle, an Instagram, or any other method of communication available to you for that teacher. We have over 30 clubs and we will have club fairs as the year progresses. This year we did a virtual club fair, but regardless, we will be having these different clubs that do meet virtually at the moment and hopefully in person when the times allow it. And there's a number of options for the students to select and find a good fit for them. So how do you apply? Again, on our website, mass3.com, you can go under the Academics tab and it says Magnet School Application. On there, it will link you directly to the district's website where you can apply to up to four schools, including ours. Applications must be completed before January 15th, and this is the same for all Magnet schools across the county. In order to be able to be accepted at our school, there are certain eligibility requirements that must be adhered to. Middle school, you must have a 2.0 GPA in every core class, and the core classes would be English, Math, Science, and Social Studies, and a 2.0 is about a C average. High school, the 2.5 is a B average, and again, this is in core classes, and it must be English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. A minimum of C in all classes in conduct and fewer than 10 absences and tardies. You may not have a three in effort in any class, and students must not have any D's or F's, as since all of our courses are advanced or honors, it will be very difficult for students who are struggling in a regular course 
to be able to be successful in a school with only accelerated coursework. Additionally, in ninth grade, they have to successfully complete Algebra 1, which means they must also pass the Algebra 1 EOC before the start of their ninth grade year. And just in case you were thinking, no, we do not need letters of recommendation this year. We do, however, need students' grades. If you are in a Miami-Dade County Public School, no need to worry. We have access to all of your grades and you do not need to submit anything other than the application. Some charter schools, do have we do have access to them, but not all of them. So we do recommend that you, if you are at a charter, that you submit report cards and transcripts, as well as students who might be in private school or might be in Broward, or if you're looking at this from a different place in the world, we will need some sort of report card to see where, the, where your child is academically and what courses they are taking. So again, if you're not in a Miami-Dade County Public Schools, when you do your applications, please do submit your child's report cards and or transcripts. When will you know? Well, the applications end on January 15th and a number of people mail their applications, so those have to be processed. And therefore, letters of acceptances will be mailed emailed by March 15th. At that point, parents, you have two weeks to respond to us to let us know if you accept your acceptance or if you're going to choose another school. When you do accept your acceptance by April 1st, please make sure that you contact us and that you submit documents so that we may hold your child's spot. We must have signed confirmed documents in order to maintain your child's spot and not move on to a student that will be on our waiting list. For more information about our school, we do have a Twitter handle, an Instagram account, a Facebook account, and a YouTube channel. So feel free to subscribe to any of these platforms to continue following what we do in and out of our regular school days. At the end of this, which is right now, we will be having a Zoom meeting on Tuesday, December 15th at 5 p.m. If you have any questions or if you want more clarifications, please email Ms. Andrews. There is a bit.ly at the bottom of this page as well as a QR code. Please submit your request to join this Zoom and we will send you a link. It will be a live Q&A session with myself and Ms. Andrews. So should you have any questions, that will be the perfect opportunity for you to get them answered and maybe dig a little deeper with the questions that you may have. So we thank you again for joining us and for selecting our school and even considering us as being part of your child's academic journey. And we look forward to seeing you on Tuesday, December 15th at 5 p.m. Thank you and stay healthy.